Have you ever found yourself walking or driving down a cobblestone street and wondered, why do they still use this old-fashioned surface instead of modern asphalt? Cobblestone roads might seem like relics of the past, remnants of medieval cities or picturesque European villages, but there's more to them than just old-world charm. They serve a variety of purposes even in our modern infrastructure, and their presence often reflects a careful balance between practicality, tradition, and aesthetics. In this video, we're diving into the reasons why some roads still use cobblestones instead of asphalt, and why that might actually be a smart choice in many situations. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start by going back in time. Cobblestones have been used for thousands of years, dating back to the Roman Empire. The Romans were masters of engineering, and their roads were built to last. They laid stones in a specific pattern over a foundation of gravel and sand, creating roads that were incredibly durable. Some of these ancient roads are still visible today. In fact, the term cobblestone originally referred to naturally rounded stones taken from riverbeds, cobbles, that were set in sand or mortar. Later, during the 18th and 19th centuries, the term came to include more regularly shaped stones that were easier to lay evenly. Before the widespread use of concrete and asphalt, cobblestones were among the most reliable and sturdy road surfaces available. Their durability and the availability of stone made them a logical choice for cities that were expanding rapidly during the Industrial Revolution. But fast forward to today, and we have modern materials like asphalt and concrete that are cheaper, easier to lay down, and faster to install. So why keep cobblestones around? The answer isn't just about nostalgia, it's about function culture, and sometimes even strategy. One of the biggest advantages of cobblestones is their longevity. While asphalt roads may need to be repaved every 10 to 20 years, cobblestone streets can last for centuries with minimal maintenance. The stones themselves are incredibly hard and resilient. Unlike asphalt, which is vulnerable to extreme temperatures, oil spills, and constant wear from traffic, Cobblestones don't degrade easily. If a section gets damaged or worn, individual stones can be lifted out and replaced without having to redo the entire surface. This modularity is a huge benefit in areas where long-term durability matters more than short-term convenience. Another major reason for the continued use of cobblestones is water management. Asphalt is impermeable, which means water can't pass through it, often leading to runoff, flooding, and erosion problems. Cobblestone streets, especially those set in sand or permeable mortar, allow water to seep through the cracks between the stones, helping manage stormwater and reduce the load on city drainage systems. This is particularly important in older cities that may not have extensive underground infrastructure. In a time when climate change is leading to more intense and frequent storms, permeable surfaces like cobblestones are becoming increasingly valuable in urban planning. Cobblestones also serve a cultural and aesthetic role, especially in cities with historic districts. Tourists flock to old town centers precisely because of the unique atmosphere winding alleys, centuries-old buildings, and yes, cobblestone streets. Cities like Prague, Rome, and Paris have strict regulations to preserve their historic character, and that often includes maintaining cobblestone roads. Even newer developments sometimes choose to use cobblestones or stone pavers to evoke a certain charm or luxury. There's a reason why upscale neighborhoods, boutique shopping areas, and heritage sites often feature stone streets. They create a visual and tactile experience that asphalt simply can't replicate. 
There's also a psychological and behavioral side to cobblestones. Drivers tend to slow down on cobblestone streets because of the uneven surface and the audible feedback. In many cities, cobblestones are used intentionally as a traffic calming measure. While modern traffic engineering might use speed bumps or painted lines, some cities use cobbled surfaces in residential zones or around plazas to subtly encourage slower driving without installing any obvious barriers. Pedestrian zones often use cobblestones for the same reason. People are more alert and cautious, which improves overall safety. Of course, cobblestones aren't perfect. For cyclists, wheelchair users, and people with strollers or mobility issues, they can be uncomfortable or even hazardous. Modern city planners try to account for this by creating smoother pathways alongside cobbled roads or using specially designed pavers that mimic the look of cobblestones while offering a more even surface. In some cases, asphalt is overlaid on top of old cobblestones, preserving the original material underneath while providing a smoother, more accessible top layer. But these solutions often require compromise and careful design to retain the heritage while improving functionality. Economically, cobblestones are more expensive up front compared to asphalt, both in materials and labor. Each stone must be laid by hand, which can be a slow and meticulous process. However, when you consider their long lifespan and low maintenance costs, cobblestones can actually be more cost-effective over the long term, especially in areas that don't experience heavy vehicle traffic. In some cities, the original cobblestones laid over a hundred years ago are still in place today, whereas the surrounding asphalt roads have been resurfaced multiple times. So the next time you find yourself walking or driving on a cobblestone street, take a moment to appreciate what it represents. It's more than just a quirky feature or a nod to the past. It's a deliberate choice that reflects centuries of engineering wisdom, a commitment to sustainability, and a respect for cultural heritage. Cobblestones connect us to the history beneath our feet, while quietly solving modern problems like stormwater runoff, traffic calming, and long-term infrastructure resilience. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.